And how old are you, sir? 12. 12, okay. Um, I'm Judge Orfinger, and I'm gonna conduct your detention hearing this morning. Uh, the purpose of a detention hearing, sometimes we call them a first appearance, but the purpose of a detention hearing is for me to determine whether there is probable cause that an act of juvenile delinquency occurred and that you are the person who committed that act of delinquency. And if I do find that there is probable cause that those offenses occurred um, or that an offense occurred, we then discuss whether uh, there is a basis to keep you detained or whether there's a basis uh, to release you and if so, under what circumstances. Some things you need to know. First off, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you do say can be used against you. This proceeding is being recorded. There is uh, an attorney from the state attorney's <laughs> office here. And so if you say something, there won't be any question about whether you said it or who you said it to. Um, you also have the right to a lawyer at all stages of the proceeding. Now, um, this youth is uh, a, a ward of the Department of Children and Families. Is that correct, Ms. Marrero? Yeah, yes, Your Honor. He's committed to the department. Oh, Mr. Beckwith. Permanently, sir. All right. So I'm going to appoint uh, the Office of the Public Defender uh, to represent you today, sir. And uh, Ms. Hughes from the Public Defender's Office uh, is here. Uh, hopefully you see her on your screen. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Ms. Hughes. And I said there was an attorney from the state attorney's office. That is uh, Ms. DePaula. Uh, now, Mr. O'Brien, you are charged with armed burglary of a dwelling, structure, or conveyance. You're also, a char you're also charged with attempted first-degree murder of a law enforcement officer. Now, I've reviewed the arrest report and based on my review, there is probable cause for the arrest, probable cause to believe that, uh, that these acts occurred and that you're the person who committed them. Ms. Uh, Hughes, do you have any argument on probable cause? Not as to probable cause, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Um, I reviewed the uh, uh, score sheet prepared by the Department of Juvenile Justice, the detention screening instrument. Um, you do score for continued secure detention. And I'm gonna order that you be held uh, in secure detention for 21 days or until further order of the court. Um, at uh, this point, that is about all we can do for this morning, other than to set an arraignment date. Uh, this is going to be in Judge Gostad's division on the west side. Um, do you want to set an arraignment date today, Ms. DePaulo? Yes, Judge. If we could set something approximately three weeks away, close to that 21-day mark. Okay, the 21 days will run on June 23rd at 5 p.m. Madam Clerk, what have we got? We can actually set that on June 23rd at 10.30 a.m. And Judge, would your honor agree to a secure detention review on the 9th, which is our next uh, uh, court date with Judge Gosted? Any objection, Ms. DePaula? Yes, Judge, we would object to that. He scores for secured detention, and the state needs time to be able to make a filing decision in this case. But the ninth is not going to be a sufficient amount of time for that to take place. 
with your honor, ultimately, we're not asking for an arraignment on the ninth. We wouldn't expect a filing decision. We're just asking for a secure detention review given his age. Well, I don't see a basis to do a review. So we'll just leave his arraignment set for the 23rd. And I'm sorry, Madam Clerk, at what time? Uh, 1030, Your Honor. All right. And Your Honor, additionally, given his dependent status, would uh, you appoint the public defender beyond today's court date? I anticipate him receiving conflict counsel, so I would like to get the ball rolling on that. Um, if conflict counsel is going to be necessary, uh, you just need to file a uh, file a motion to withdraw based on the conflict and Judge Goss said, will no doubt then appoint the Office of Regional Conflict Counsel. Correct, Your Honor. Okay, is there anything further? They're not from the state, Judge. All right, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. O'Brien. We'll move on to our next case.